Hey guys, here's a little video of one of those 250 watt grid tie inverters to sell on eBay. I've seen a few guys demonstrating with uh, batteries. This one's hooked directly to my solar panels. I have about 215 watts of solar. I think I have nine 15 watt Harbor Freight panels and one 80 watt Sharp panel. They're all running parallel. You can see the amps are climbing here. I also have my wind turbine hooked to this. I believe it takes 17 to 24 volts to power the inverter. The green light here indicates that the power is moving out. It goes from right to left. The faster that light moves, the more power is being pushed or pulled. However that works. But it seems to work pretty well. You can see the amps jumping around. I'm not sure if that's because of the clouds or my wind turbine. Probably the wind turbine. But that's it anyhow. Seems like a pretty neat setup. I used to charge my batteries with the solar and the wind and then go through an inverter to power my TV and stuff but it seems like a little bit of an easier way maybe I'll get a little more use out of it you can see the clouds are the sun's going under the clouds the amps are dropping right down the sun's coming back out now I think Like I said, I have my wind turbine hooked up with the solar. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. If any of you guys out there know, give me some comments on it. I have my posit positive from my wind turbine and my positive from my solar going to the positive on the inverter and my negative from my solar and negative from my turbine going to the negative on the inverter. I don't see why it would be a problem, but... I'm not sure if I'm fighting one with the other. Alright. Now the little micro hydro is the only thing powering my battery bank. Point 0.2. That's what the micro hydro puts out. Point 0.2 to point 0.3 amps. Not much, but keeps the batteries trickle charging. Can also hook my four 12 volt marine batteries in series and make them 24 volt to power this inverter. I've done that before and it actually pushes over 13 amps so I think that's over 250 volts or watts sorry. Alright guys I just Figured I'd make a little video for you to see. Thanks for watching.